Salamu alaikum salamu alaikum jamalu Salam alaikum manim valu Alamu be saba ma Amina Alamu jusola ji Amina Ganta komini ala tami abwala Amina Ala fanga di magma Ese kuma mwa mwa wye aya ebi esi mwa kwa ka juu kele Amina Ala juu kele Mwa mwa kwa 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 misi la bina Ali nyala Amina Ala kani yukono fi kwa bicha na kila mulu Amina Ok and I want to take this time today to inform the public concerning the land dispute in Nima County and something is about to happen in Ganta Nima County and I hope that President Josh Banner we are is listening to me I hope the political leaders in this country are listening to me I hope the stakeholders in this country are listening to me. Ordinary citizens, citizens of this country, I hope they are listening to me. Something is about to happen. You know, yesterday, the Chief Justice of the Republic of La Biro, Francis Popo, who are described as criminals, is the one behind the land dispute in Nima County. Our people have been marginalized the past 14 years since the Civil War is over, ECOWAS came in, they gave huge amount of money to research our people. We don't know how the money, who ate that money. By the end, there were people, people, they are occupying the Mandingo people land in Nima County. So yesterday, there's a guy they call Swa, and this guy is involved in criminal activity in Nima County. He went, we found a court order, we found a ruling for the court, he went and paid some of the police guys, they went and demolished, they carried on, and they destroyed the homes of Madingo people in Ganta Lima County yesterday. Yesterday, they break over 15 homes. Now most of our people are displaced in Ganta Lima County. Then this morning again, there was a tension in Lima. But who is the cause of this problem? It's the Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia, Francis Papo. Because Francis Papo is a man of man. And most of the judges in, in, in Nima County are man of people. He used that occasion to appoint most of the judges in Nima County. So our people have been marginalized. But right, you take a vile man from, uh, from Cape Man and say a judge in Nima County. But you send him man of men or the man of people are judges in Nima County. Do you expect Madingo men to get right? And now uh, we are calling on the Liberal National Police. We are calling on the government, the army, the citizens of this country. They are about to attack our people tonight. That's the news I want to break up. They are about to break the mosque, to burn the mosque tonight. And some of the guys, as far as they are using police uniform now. They are using army uniform now. They are preparing. Then I say to myself, if a single Maningo man is killed in Ganta, that means we will kill the Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia because he is responsible for the land dispute in Nima County. If a single Maningo man is killed in Nima County today, some of us will sacrifice our life because enough is enough. We have been marginalized. We have been marginalized. My energy in Sari came to fail to settle the land dispute in Nima County. It's still continuing. The Gills and the Manos, Madingo, we have been in peace. Why do you think we have authority yet? We have the power, we have government. Why the government can intervene to solve some of the problem? But my major concern is today. If a single Madingo man is killed in Nima County, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Liberia will hold him responsible and he will never go free. That is why today I'm in my military uniform. I'm in my military uniform today. I'm in my military uniform today. We are mobilizing our brothers and sisters. We are monitoring the situation in Nima, Ganta. We are monitoring the situation in Ganta, Nima County. Any attempt by any group of people to kill a single Madingo man. That means maybe ECOWAS or UN will come in. Because we are ready. We are ready because we are not getting justice. If you can't get justice, you have to do something to defend yourself. Because the man who is the head of the justice department in this country, Francis Papa, he's corrupt. He is the cause of the problem. Francis Papa is corrupt. He wants to bring problem in this country. So what do you expect if a Supreme Court cannot give us justice? What do you expect to do? 
Do they want us to take AK-47 to protect ourselves? We are not going to do that. We are not going to do that. So we're calling on the president now to deploy AF in Ganta. Now, today. Because something is about to happen there today. The president should call, deploy AFL, the Labrador National Police, now in Lima County. If anything goes wrong, we will hold Friendship Papua responsible, we will hold this government responsible. Now they should deploy AFL. They should deploy AFL now. Something is about to take place in Ganta. That is why I call Spoon TV, let the world get to know the situation there. You know, most of our people came today for ration. They are here today, you see, at my resident, to show how important I am. I'm not just an ordinary person. Our mothers then, our sister then, and they are all here today. They came at my residence. They want to break fast. And they said, we're going to my Jabate homes. We are going there. I get thousands of people behind me. Even our experts. Some of them, we stopped them yesterday. They were about to go in Ganta yesterday. So do not overlook my information I'm giving you. If Mr. President is listening to me, if President Joshua is listening to me, Please deploy AFL now in Ganda. If anything happens to our people, Mr. President, if a single Madigo man is killed, we will reverse on the chief justice of the Papua Labi. First Papua. I know you have a question. Thank you. Yeah, my first question has to do with why are you wearing uniform? Army uniform. Mr. Tabata. And you are asking me why I'm wearing the army uniform. I'm in the army uniform today to defend my community. I'm in the uniform today to defend my community. I'm in the uniform today to die for my community. I'm in the uniform today to sacrifice my life if a single Madingo man is killed in Lima County. And you, you spoke of something big is about to happen. What is it? What I'm telling you, what I'm telling you now, is that something is about to happen because these guys are planning to point the mosque in Ganta today. They are planning to point the mosque in Ganta today. They are planning to attack the Madingo people today, tonight. So today is why I'm calling on the president to deploy AFL. To deploy AFL, I don't trust the Labrador National Police. Because 50% of the Labrador National Police, most of the guys, they are not doing. They are not doing. So AFL needs to be deployed there. If a single Madingo man is killed, and I went my yellow uniform today to defend my people. You just accused the Chief Justice of Liberia and also, uh, you just accused the Chief Justice of Liberia. Do you have any proof for what you are saying concerning the Chief proof? Justice? You don't know the Chief Justice is corrupt? Are you blind, Mr. Journalist? Are you not aware that this man took money from the from SYC to impeach Cabinet Janet? Are you not aware that this man is corrupt because Francis Papa? Are you not aware that Francis Papa has destroyed the Supreme Court bench? Are you not aware of Francis Papa criminal act? I'm aware of Francis Papa criminal act. And I get, I get proof. I'll be waiting today if I go to jail. Francis Papa, he's not a decent man. They are the, they, he one of those that destroying this country. He one of those that are destroying this country, our beautiful country. He has destroyed the Supreme Court bench. He corrupt. And you also threatened his life, that you were killed. I just him. told you, if a single Madinga man is killed, if a single Madigo man is killed, we will be revenge on the Chief Justice. I have no regret. I told you that I'm willing to die today. I just told you I wore this army uniform to sacrifice my life. I wore this army uniform today. The Ahmad Jabate. Maybe it's, it's, it's time for me to die. If anything goes wrong in Ganta Lima County, that is why I wore the uniform. So what will you do mm -hmm. if the Liberal uh, government mm -hmm. don't send a uh, the armed forces of Liberia that you are requesting to be sent to Neymar County, what will you do? If the government do not send police, and the government is under obligation to protect life and property, personal where is under obligation, it took off on the constitution. If the government cannot protect us, they will mobilize our ex fighter from the Yulimo kill and let rebel to go and in the to our mover, who are willing to move her. To defend our people. We're willing to go to Ganta. We just waiting for a time. If the government we we'll get Ganta. If the government to, if the government fail to protect us, we'll if the government will fail to protect us, then but I know the government will not fail. But if they fail, we get our men. We get our ex fighters. We will mobilize them, they will go and protect our people. 
Mr. Jabate, don't you think you are threatening the peace of this uh, nation? What peace are you talking about? Am I threatening peace? I think it's Francis Papa that is starting violence. He's the one that threatening the peace, not my Jabate. I'm talking about my community. I want, I'm defending my community. I'm defending my community. I'm not accusing the government or SRC, but I'm accusing the chief justice. I'm accusing that criminal the cop, first of all. I have no fear. I just told you that I wore the Amen uniform to go to jail today. I wore the Amen uniform to allow it to assert the Almighty Allah. I'm willing to sacrifice my life if a single man in government is still in Ganta in my country. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Wallahi le Abdu! Allah Akbar! Wallahi le Abdu! Okay, that's all. What's that today? Is there any other thing you want to say? I'm calling on President George Man and Weah. I'm calling on political leaders. I'm calling on the stakeholders. I'm calling on the religious leader. Let them deploy AFL in Ganta. Let them deploy AFL in Ganta. I'm not alone. I'm not just an ordinary person. I'm not alone. So who are you with? I know, you'll get to know soon. When the appropriate time comes, you will see more than 10,000 him will be behind me. You'll get to know that. You will see that. Let them deploy AFL now. You know how it takes yesterday police people went and looted our people home in Ganta? They looted our homes. And beat our people. And beat our people. And made our people to run and go Ghana away. So, so. This is well, not a joke. Die, I'm yeah, telling you. Are. I'm telling you, let the president. Let the president. We are. We look it up to you. We want for you to listen to my daughter, our job, man, or we are. Now, they are speaking to you. Please. John, Mr. President, I love you, my brother. You, my brother, you, my friend, you, my Cody. Please, please look up to Ganta Matter, yes? Bring one jersey, my papa. Zorogwe, eh, Zorogwe, Fenyana Manu Kotia. Tetachi, please look up to Ganta Matter, yeah? Bring Josie, we now I tell respect you. But eh, Zorogwe, you're trying to do something. Before we get fed, we let veteran, we are lie, be lie, we are ready to die. And we will see you in Ganta, and we will come in Ganta, and America will perform. And you say, you're a boy, Ah, it shall allow, super, it shall allow, there's a fast more. You will see your horses, then what will happen in the house? Thank you so much. He's one of the ex fighters. He's a children for the ex combatants. He's here, and uh, he's a veteran. Let the president develop AFN now. That's something I'm saying the president is not saying. Let the president deploy e police now. But the police looted our people whom yesterday. The police that is responsible to protect life and property. They were involved in criminal act yesterday. They took police from Banga. They went and looted our people whom yesterday. Barbara, don't blame her, blame Francis Papa. Francis Papa. I'm my Jabate. I'm from Lima County. I'm not afraid of death. I am not afraid of death. I'm here to protect my people, my community. And I intend in contact to point of a mosque. We will revenge. And I intend. And I intend to point of a mosque. And I intend to bring our mass in Nima County. Wallahi, we will revenge. And any, if a single Madinga man is killed, we will revenge on the chief justice. We know where he lived. He lived Conga Town. Other people may say, my job, I tell me, be something happy. I'm not on my own. Very, I'm a sound human being, sound man, that person. You and ECOWAS, they have, they have, you know, they, they put huge amount of money in this country. He's, his money in this country for our peace process. We should not allow free group of people because of the political greed to undermine the peace process. We are calling on President George Manon we have to intervene. Let him deploy the police. Let him deploy the police. Let him deploy the armed. Let them impose coffee in Ganta. Let them send a delegate to solve the problem. I take a stand to thank our brother, the former, a, former, and former 102 AB Kluma. Thank you for your intervention. The former Controller General, Sheku Sano. I say thank you. Thanks to Musa Birete. And uh, thanks to all that joined us today to, me, to carry on as a wedding. I hope President George Manawuya is monitoring me and I hope the government will intervene now. And uh, then, if a single man is killed, we will reverse on the chief justice. That criminal. Thank you so much. Thank you for speaking to the press. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar!